Hi, good morning everyone. How are you today? Alright, let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is Kalsum Hussein. Alright, I'm the coordinator for this particular module called Critical and Creative Thinking. Now, there will be a series of lessons, alright, following this lesson and we do hope that uh, towards the end of this module, you, alright, as the one following through this module will become a critical and creative thinker. Alright, this, the second slide here that I have is, I wish that you can uh, view this particular uh, YouTube entitled, Why do we need to be creative and critical? Alright, so this is a very interesting YouTube, right? But probably I would say that um, it's important that you understand why we need to become creative and critical because this will position you, right? Position uh, the way we do things. And uh, we have to be reminded that anything that we, we intend to do, all right, that we want to do, that we will do, it all begins in the mind. Okay, next. Now, this is a learning outcome for today, all right? I listed three learning outcomes. The first one is to provide definition on critical and creative thinking skills. All right. The second learning outcome will be uh, we need to state the importance of critical and creative thinking skills. And the third one is to explain the importance of creativity in innovation. Right. So next, um, what you can see here is a picture. All right. Now, I want you to work in, probably you can work in pairs if you've got someone next to you, right? I want you just to study this picture and tell your friends, all right, your friend next to you, what you can say about this particular picture. Okay, I'll give you one minute to do that. All right, so next, let us... Uh, reflect okay what happened when we are so engrossed in a thinking process now what actually happened when we are deeply uh, uh, involved in thinking process okay so what happened to the mind or how the human brain works okay the human brain will act with the understanding of the contingency plans received through the senses right so the senses that we have will send a stimuli to our brain and will our brain will develop okay some kind of understanding the secondly the human brain will form concepts makes interpret uh, interpretations and reactions based on existing experience in memory and the third one our human brain will help us to analyze the, the statement and find valid evidence before we make decisions. These are the process that is happening in our brain. Okay, next. So, let us form some understanding what do we mean by thinking. Okay, why is thinking so important? Why do we need to understand what happens in, in our mind? Now, thinking is a process that happens in our mind. It is performed by human beings. Only human beings can think, all right? This is an activity that happens almost every time, every day, everywhere. Okay? And it's also a mental activity in the human brain, the process of building understanding and knowledge. So uh, with these um, statements, uh, we do hope that we are getting what is happening when we think is more established. All right? So next, please. Now, um, let us discuss on the concepts of, uh, I mean superficially, the concepts of critical and creative thinking. All right? Now, critical and creative thinking are two essential thinking elements that will broaden and deepen our thinking capacities. If these are acquired, meaning if we have the skills, all right, thinking critically and think, thinking creatively, it shall deposit in our arguments and reasoning abilities. So you can see, People who can argue well or reason out things well uh, because they have acquired some elements of critical and creative thinking skills. All right. Now, while critical thinking and creative thinking are not interchangeable, all right, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work interchangeably, all right, but both, however, both implicated as a complementary dimension to thinking and learning all right we can't just claim to see that oh he is critical or he's creative no 
right? It is something like it works concurrently, but it's not interchangeable. Okay, so next please. Now on this slide, uh, I'm zooming into uh, the definition of creative thinking. Okay, so creative thinking is a mental process that involves new ideas or involve triggers of new concept or new idea combined with existing concepts driven by vision process either consciously or unconsciously. So, uh, you know, this particular, particular type of thinking, it happens in us, but we don't really are not aware or alert, you know, it just comes naturally like that. Okay, so next please. Now, we move on to another definition that is another skill that is a critical thinking. Now, critical thinking is, uh, will be established when we are able to use our mind to assess the reasonable or fairness of an idea, right? The advantages and disadvantages of an argument. So that, if we could deposit that, then uh, it uh, we are reflecting some, uh, we are depositing some, some kind of critical thinking skills. And it also uh, reflects when we are making sound judgment and producing reasonable evidence in solving a problem. Okay, so I do hope this, uh, these definitions will help you to establish and understand better between these two concepts just now, critical or uh, creative, and now is critical thinking. Okay, let us move on, All right? The next one <clears throat> uh, is on innovation, right? So you see, we have uh, you have been introduced to creative thinking, you have been introduced to critical th critical thinking, and then we move on. We move, we move on to innovation. Now, innovation, all right, is a product of new items. So anything that is new that went through the process of creative and critical thinking is referred as innovation, right? So it is a product of new items that provide values and benefits to everyone. It involves the creation of products. It involves the creation of process. It involves the creation of system, all right, organizational structures and new business model and etc, etc, etc. Alright, this list will be going on and on and on. Now, um, so I would like to sum up at this moment of time an equation all right, uh, that is uh, creative thinking plus critical thinking equals to innovation. All right, equals to innovative. So a critical and creative person can produce, can uh, produce uh, an innovation. All right, it can be process, it can be products, it can be system, or anything. Basically, it has a new element. All right. So next, please. All right. So this is definition of innovation. All right. It is a method of producing a better product. So you see, when we innovate. The ultimate aim is to make the product better. So it's written this way, method of producing a better product or service better through renovations or improvements, right? So innovations is ideas resulted in improved quality, productivity, service, organization, business, right? So this idea can include changes in the form of system, procedures, methods, ways of working, and ways of working with technology, all right? So I hope that um, before we go to the next slide, let us uh, spend some time, reflect, all right? Try to um, make sense of what we have been sharing, okay? The concepts of critical, creative, and innovative, all right? The equation of criti uh, creative plus critical equals to innovation. So we move on now to activity two, all right? Now, what I want you to do now is um, probably you can take a piece, take out a piece of paper, all right, scribble on the paper. Uh, in your own words, I wish you to define the following terminologies that we have been uh, discussing a, a few minutes ago, all right? So, in your own words, all right, after you have listening to me, after you have witnessing some, some information on slides, I want you in your own words to define the following terminologies. All right, probably I give you uh, five minutes to do this. All right, next. So, um, 
All right. So what we had written just now, we will share towards the end of the lesson. Okay. Now we move on. All right. We move on. Uh, why is it so important that we need to be critical and creative thinker? All right. People may ask, what's so great being critical and creative thinker? Well, like I said just now in the first um, of my in, in the first slides, the first few slides. All right. I wish that you can view that particular YouTube because that will establish you all right and understanding why is it so crucial and significant for us today to become a critical and creative person okay so as laid in the slides okay so critical and creative thinking are important and they are closely related to the process of innovation invention all right designing new process new models and new structures and critical and creative uh, thinking skills generate and spark a new ideas, new controversy that provide benefits and values to mankind. Okay, so that is the reason why we want, all right, we want ourselves and all the people around us to become creative and critical person. All right, next slide, please. So, have you going through all the slides? Okay, so let us just recap what we had done in a few minutes just now the definition the concepts of terminologies such as critical thinking creative thinking uh, innovation and innovative all right you had also been informed all right why is it that it's so crucial and significant uh, for us to become a critical and creative thinking all right so that's we that we had done just now okay next slide please so before uh, before this lesson in, ends, all right, let's check, all right. Uh, can you provide me the definition on critical and creative thinking skills? All right. Secondly, can you state the importance of critical and creative thinking skills? And thirdly, you should be able, all right, you should be able, after viewing the YouTube and listening to me, you should be able to explain the importance of creativity in innovation. So... I think with that, I end my lesson. Thank you very much.